the one and only king of pop michael jackson's father joe jackson has died at the age of 89 due to pancreatic cancer now people may feel different ways and have felt different ways about joe jackson um i think he was like many fathers who wanted better for their children so that's neither here nor there and i'm not going to go there he has been struggling with his health for some time back in 2012 in november he had a minor stroke at his um, las vegas home three years later he also suffered um, with a stroke and something to do with his heart. And that was in Brazil on his 87th birthday. Then May, 2002, uh, May 2016, he was hospitalized due to a high fever. June 2007, he was released from the hospital after a car accident in Vegas. So it seems like Joe had been going through so many different things, but he has finally passed on. He was born July 26, 1928 in Arkansas. And throughout these years, he has dealt with so many different health problems. There were a lot of tweets going out and people were saying that Joe was making those tweets or people in the family. It was later to be said that Joe didn't make any of those tweets, nor did they come from anybody in the family. Joe Jackson is survived by his wife, Catherine Jackson, their children, Maureen Jackson, 68, Jackie, 67, Tito, 64, Jermaine, 63, Latoya, 62, Marlo, 61, Randy, 56, Janet, 52, and he will be meeting his son, Michael Jackson, who died at the age of 50 on June 25th, 2009. He also has a son, Brandon, who died at birth in 1957. Joe was also the father of Jean Vonnie Jackson. I, I hope I pronounced that correctly. She is the daughter of Cheryl Terrell, whom he had a 25 year long affair with. Catherine filed for divorce twice, but never went through with the separation. My prayers go out to the entire Jackson family. And I just wanna add this little story in here. Um, I told you guys I've worked many different things. And when I was working at the nursing home, I had a patient, his name was Alfonso Budd, who is now deceased himself. And he used to always tell us these stories about Michael Jackson, Jackson 5, and Joe Jackson. Of course, we would listen and we would laugh and we would be like, yeah, right. You don't know no daggone Michael Jackson. You don't know no Joe Jackson or whatever. Because, you know, as people get old, their memory and stuff, they get to making up stories or whatever. And lo and behold, can I tell you that Joe Jackson came to that nursing home, which was in Silver Spring, Maryland, to visit Alfonso Budd. And Michael Jackson would actually call the nursing home to check on Alfonso Bud from time to time. That is a true story. And it took me a long time to believe him until Joe Jackson actually came in there. And um, they took pictures and everything together. Um, you know, they grew up Jehovah Witness. Alfonso Bud was also Jehovah Witness. He did security for them when they were Jackson 5 way back in the day. And he said the entire Jackson family were good people. So I just want to end it with that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.